So just hours away from a news conference where lawyers representing Alec Murdoch will offer up details on plans to appeal the disgraced former attorney's murder conviction and ask for a brand new trial. Right now, Murdoch's serving a life sentence uh, for killing his wife, Maggie, and also their 22-year-old son, Paul. But his attorneys say new evidence that was uncovered after the conviction proves he needs a brand new murder trial. Attorney Eric Bland here live with us this morning. He represents several people uh, who have sued or are currently suing Alec Murdoch. Um, Eric, thanks for being with us today. Good morning, Marky. So Murdoch's attorneys referred to all of this, quote, discovered evidence, but offered up no further details. What are you expecting and what kind of evidence could this be that warrants a new trial? Well, the question is, is it going to be sound and fury signifying nothing or is it going to be something? It just can't be newly discovered evidence. It has to be material newly discovered evidence that would have had an impact on the verdict. I suspect it's something to have to do with a discharged juror who they've interviewed and maybe have, has given a statement that maybe the jurors were discussing the case before the judge charged them after the closing arguments. Maybe one of the jurors did some research or there were some uh, contacts with people that they shouldn't have been speaking to. So we're going to have to wait and see. It's 2.30 this afternoon. But there have been a number of times that they have had press conferences to announce earth-shattering revelations, and it turned out to be a dud. Yeah. We're just going to have to wait and see. But remember, it's got to be materially new evidence that was not available at the time of the trial that would have had a different outcome. Yeah, I know that uh, sources have told our own uh, senior national correspondent, Brian Enton, that it does have something to do with out, outside influence on the jurors. You've represented the families of Gloria Satterfield, the Murdoch family housekeeper who mysteriously died after a trip and fall on the family property. Also, the family of Stephen Smith, a classmate of Buster Murdoch, who also suspiciously wound up dead. How have your clients reacted to this news? Every time one of these news conferences come around, uh, how bothersome is that for your clients? Well, well, it is bothersome. Um, it's not affecting the Satterfield case as much as Sandy Smith. It's a roller coaster of emotions. Um, every time Alex comes out and, and acts like he is the victim, it re-victimizes all of the former clients of his. And, you know, for Sandy Smith, she just wants answers. She's just looking for someone to come forward and give an explanation of how Stephen died. The Satterfields, they want to just go off in peace. They've already... Uh, forgiven Alex. They don't forget what he did to them, the religious people. But it's just constantly making everybody, including the people in Hampton County, South Carolina, have to open up their emotions and relive what Alex did to our state. Yeah. And also, uh, Alec Murdoch, I mean, aside from the murders, he's in prison for, um, you know, other hundreds of other criminal charges, including insurance fraud. I know later this month he's expected to plead guilty to stealing, what, $8 million from his clients to avoid trial. Is the defense team here wasting their, tr their time trying to get a new trial for him, do you think? Uh, it's a strategy that they have. They would like him to serve his time in federal prison, not in a maximum security state prison. Um, he is under bail right now for those financial crime charges. He hasn't actually been sentenced on those. So their goal is to get the criminal trial for murder reversed so that there's going to be a new trial. At that point, he's already pled guilty to federal crimes, and he will end up doing most of his time for the convicted federal crimes in a federal prison, which routinely is more safe, is easier to do your time. Yeah, I know you're also representing some of those financial crime victims as well. I, I'm, I'm positive yes, they're ready for accountability. Um, Eric Bland, thanks so much for joining us, and, uh, and we'll see what today's press conference is all about. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.